Um, moving right along, the cowardly little Uber Christian, Mike Pence, has said, uh, uh, he said on Friday, and then I think he said it again over the weekend on one of the uh, TV talk shows, he said he's not going to endorse his former boss and two-time running mate for the 2024 general election. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Um, I, you know, I keep thinking about Mike Pence during the four years that the orange bastard uh, was the president. How Mike Pence would stand there with a look of, of quiet lust is what it appeared to be to me as he stared at the back of Trump's duck's ass haircut. You know, that's another thing. Trump, Trump wears his hair. I, I realize he's got to shift it around. He doesn't comb his hair. He arranges his hair, but he arranges it to make him look like some greaser from, from uh, you know, uh, oh, from the movie Grease. You know, he looks like some white punk, some, um, uh, you know, motorcycle riding punk ass to wear a black leather jacket and grab all the girls by their genitals back in the 50s. That's, you know, Trump has that hairstyle. And for four years, Mike Pence stared at the back of that duck's ass haircut with, with this look of adoration. Oh, my lovely leader. Oh, you know, I wonder if Mike Pence feels like he gained anything from serving four years as Trump's um, admirer, starer, starer at the back of my head. Well, I talk, Mike Pence. Anyway, Pence uh, was on Fox News, and he told the interviewer, quote, It should come as no surprise, and I love Jesus, I do, that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year, but I do love Jesus. Um, look, I'm incredibly proud of the record of our administration, but Jesus is my Savior. It was a conservative record that made America more prosperous, more secure, and saw conservatives appointed to our courts in a more peaceful world. But I do love Jesus. Are you saved, uh, interviewer here on Fox? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? But that being said, during my presidential campaign, I made clear there were profound differences between me and President Trump on a range of issues. But I do love Jesus, and I would never have grabbed Mary Magdalene by her crotch, even though my, my leader... Uh, well, I guess he was my leader, said that women love that, especially when you're famous. Well, who could be more famous than my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? And do you think Jesus ever grabbed Mary Magdalene by her crotch? Of course not. You are saved, aren't you? End quote. Just kidding. Um, now, for about two years now, the Uber Christian has been for him, outspoken that uh, he didn't have the authority to reject the 2020 election results when the orange bastard and the Nazis around him told him to do it. Um, I, I, I just wonder why Mike Pence didn't just say any time in the past two years, not only did I not have the authority, but even if I would have had the authority, you crazy fuckers, I wouldn't have done it because I love Jesus and you don't. I love Jesus, so I would never have done something so rotten and illegal. But no, Pence has never said that, despite the pressure campaign from Trump to do so. Do -do. Now, you know, Pence <laughs> ran for president for a while, didn't they? Or he was going to run for president, and when he launched his campaign, he argued that uh, Trump's actions on January 6th we're disqualifying. Oh, Pence, you little prick. Everything that, that Trump did during his four years was a disqualifying movement on his part, but especially after January 6th. But your buddies on the Supreme Court, who I would assume all love Jesus, they have decided, Mike, that uh, it was not something to disqualify him from the ballot in Maine or Colorado or Michigan or any place else. Huh? Anyway, um, the Uber Christian told Fox News that his differences with Trump um, go beyond what happened on January 6th because I love Jesus. 
Um, and, and the reason um, I, I, my differences go beyond that day is because um, my, my leader didn't have a plan to confront the national debt and, and, and his evasive comments about restrictions on abortion and, 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 and his recent opposition to a ban on TikTok. Uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Pence added this, quote, In each of these cases, Donald Trump is pursuing and articulating an agenda that is at odds with the conservative agenda that we governed on during our four years. And that's why I cannot in good conscience endorse Donald Trump in this campaign. <sighs> but I love Jesus. Are you saved? Huh? You're not saved? Oh, you're going to burn in hell forever. Oh, and by the way... um, Pence added that, no, he would not vote for Biden. Well, what does that mean, you silly little bastard, you? Does it mean you're just not going to vote? Hmm, okay. Um, let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Pence has also mentioned several times that his Republican Party, somebody to tell him it's a fucking zombie. Mike, your Republican Party is a maggot encrusted walking corpse, you know, really, really, Mike. But he has warned, Pence has, that the Republican Party should not follow what he called the siren song Ooh! of populism. And the Uber Christian has questioned whether Trump was committed to conservative policy goals. <laughs> oh, come on, Pence, for fuck's sake. Are you this stupid? Are you unable to take a look at a frog and say it's a frog? Are you unable to take a look at Trump and say it's a Nazi? What the hell do you mean that he, he his siren song of populism meant that Trump wasn't committed to conservative policy goals. Oh, my God. Poor old Pence. <sighs> now, at least Pence has said, come right out and stood up on his two uh, hind legs and said, I'm not going to endorse him because I love Jesus. Others who ran against Trump, like the... Uh, Black and sane senator from South Carolina, Tim Scott. Boy, what a little rubber face he is, huh? Oh, my God. Be careful, Senator Tim. You're going to wind up with the uh, co-opting Uncle Clarence Thomas's title. You're going to be Uncle Tim, huh? Are you, Tim? The Florida governor, the little white Nazi, Ron DeSantis. Remember him? <laughs> Do you remember Ron DeSantis? Ah! North Carolina Governor Doug Burgum. And then, of course, we have Rosanna Dana Ramaswamy. All of those people have endorsed the Nazi Donald Trump. Now, Pence has used his time out of the vice presidency widely. He, or, I mean, uh, uh, wisely, let, let me put it that way, in, in Trump's mind. He put together an advocacy group that is supposed to help elect conservative candidates. <laughs> right. Uh, and he announced last month that they had raised and would spend 20 mirrors to, I don't know what this means, shape the conservative agenda. Shape it? I, I, I think everybody in America knows what the conservative agenda is. But, but Mike, honest to God, take it from another Mike. Huh? Trust me, Mr. Pence. I, I would not bullshit you. I, I, I really wouldn't. I know you're a Christian. I know you love Jesus. I'm sure Jesus loves you. <clears throat> but take it from another mic, okay? There is no one in this country who doesn't understand the conservative agenda. But that's not what you're about. That's not what your Messiah on earth is about. You all are about a fascist agenda, and in your case, Uber Christian, it is Christian fascism. Come on, Mike, for fuck's sake, can you not once in your adult life, you failed miserably when you were the governor of, of, of Indiana, when you were a representative, whatever the hell you were. You've always failed, Mike, with that smarmy little coma-like look on your face. But can't you just once, Mike Pence? 
you know, slip on your big boy pants and stand up on a podium someplace and just tell it like it is. Point out to all your Christian friends what a fucking phony Trump is. I I mean, can't you do that? No, I know, I know. Of course you can't. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.